。誒，講完話出。恭喜發財！咩或者又冇乜，佢又唔識。Today we are making my grandma's special herbal mutton stew. It's been a staple dish that she's been cooking every year. Well, more times than once a year. And she's been cooking this my entire life. This is one of my favorite dishes from her. And today we're making it just for you. <laughs> you will need. A good load of mun, dried black fungus, some goji berries, some red dates. Look, you may have Tang. 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 These are dried, a type of dried roots, and they're called tang. I don't know what they're called in English. I'll find out for later. Here we're using traditional Chinese five spice: ginger, whole bean paste, or tau chu, as we call it here. Red fermented bean curd, oyster sauce, some grounded white pepper, some garlic powder, two bulbs of onions, one bulb of garlic, caramel cooking sauce, and some regular soy sauce. What do we do now? What do we do? Ligo. Say, say, ligo sin. Okay. Alrighty. First, we get the mutton and we rinse it with water. And then we get the black fungus, the dried black fungus, and just soak it in water. Okay, now with the black fungus, she is tearing apart the big pieces into smaller pieces. So these are these are all stewing meats, like the sh the shoulder, the bony parts of the meat, really tough kind of meat that would go great when it's stewed. Good technique. Just cutting off the cutting off the, the the fat and all the silver linings of the meat. So you want big chunky pieces like this. If it's this size, it's perfect. You want them nice and lean and no fat. You want none of the fat. Alrighty, it's time for the marination. She's using the red bean paste, the fermented red bean curd, and. Uh, just pouring everything in. It comes with a red sort of marinade in the fermented bean curd. So just pouring about two tablespoons of it in there. So that's the fermented red bean paste. And then we have the tau chu paste as well. This one, tau chu paste. She's, next, she's putting the white pepper. A good sprinkle of white pepper. I would say maybe a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons, and a little bit. Oh, that's mom over there. That's a little bit of garlic powder. How much garlic powder? Do you think? Uh, About one tablespoon. tablespoon. So she's using a spoon and incorporating all this goodness inside. So more, more of the red bean paste. The, there's no exact measurement here. It's all by feeling. Salt. She's using Himalayan pink salt. This is oyster sauce. Brand new one. Oh, this is the caramel sauce that we talked about. She's putting more in there. Okay, okay. Oh. Now that's about two, two tablespoons. Now the oyster sauce. Ah, maybe two tablespoons. More white pepper. So to cap it off, we've got, I'll show you exactly what she put in here. Alrighty, so into that big pieces of lamb, first she sliced off the fat and all the silver linings. And then she put a mixture of all of these ingredients inside there. I'll put in the exact measurements in the description below. There's garlic powder, soy sauce, caramel sauce, um, oyster sauce, Tau chu paste, which is bean curd paste, some Himalayan salt, white pepper, and that. And this is this is that red bean paste that we had. We emptied it out and cleaned it off already. She's over there cleaning it up. So now this has to sit in the fridge overnight with a foam over it, and then we're gonna stew it the next day. And we're back. So this has been marinating in the fridge overnight. Next, we have dry, 
tofu skin, a ball of garlic, and a ball of onion. First, we're gonna soak the tofu skins in water. Hello. Huh? Huh? Oh. And a little bit of hot water. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So these are probably the only two vegetables that we're gonna be chopping this whole video, so all we have to do is chop them up. Alrighty, so now after chopping up all the vegetables, we want to get all our stuff ready to be cooked. We got our wok, we got our pot, we got our oyster sauce, we got the, the veggies, the tofu skins, the dark fungus, and of course the main ingredient, the meat and, and the herbs. And the grandma, grandma's over there. Let's start cooking. Alrighty, so now once the wok is hot, we put some oil inside, nice and hot. Once we get the oil in, and then next is our onions and garlic. And then stir fry them until they're nice and soft and fragrant. And right after this, we're gonna put our meat in. Okay, so as you can see, the onions and garlic are nice and fragrant. Now they don't have to be overcooked. I'm gonna lower down the fire and bring in the meats. The meat, I'm just gonna pour. Alright, pouring the entire bowl of meat into the wok. And now once we got the wheat into the wok, we just want to stir fry the entire thing. Not until it's cooked, but until everything is just mixed up and then we're going to transfer the entire thing into the wok. Alright, Grandma says the color is not dark enough. Hello, hello, hello. She says it's not dark enough, so we're adding a little bit more caramel. So she's gonna put a little bit more in there. May. And now we're putting uh, oyster sauce in there. A little bit more oyster sauce. Go. Go. Okay. okay. As you can see, she, she changed her clothes because she was wearing nice clothes and she's like, nah, I'm not cooking with these nice clothes. <laughs> now for the ginger. Once the ginger is peeled, you want to slice them up. All right, now we're going to take the ginger and put it into the wok. And then cook everything in with the mutton. Just putting a little bit more water in, in there. I'm just gonna continue, continue mixing everything up. So now we're gonna transfer this whole thing here into the into the pot. Ready? Transferring. Just check that out. So now the meat's gonna be sitting in the pot. I'm just gonna put a little bit more water in it. And we've still got more ingredients over there like the uh, tofu and the, uh, the, the, mush the fungus and the herbs. I'll just wait for grandma to see what I wanna do with it. Righty, she says that this is not enough water so I'm just gonna put in more hot water inside and just fill it up until the lid. Not enough. She says it's not enough. Grandma's adding more water in it. So as you can see, it's, it's full now, I think. Yeah, it's full. And now she's putting in the rest of the herbs. The goji berries, the red dates, and the uh, tang root. 
And she says that this thing, the uh, the the tofu skin. Fifteen minutes, skin, it's okay. The water wait five minutes. Now wait five minutes. I'm <laughs> What are you saying, Grandma? <laughs> so the black fungus and the tofu skin. You put this at the last. Like ten minutes and uh, ten or twenty minutes before serving, you put the rest of these in there to leave it to cook. Cause these things they cook very easily, very very easily. So now I think we're just gonna leave this to simmer for for about four to five hours and it's gonna be nice and tender later. We'll check out later. Here it is after after three hours, I think. After three hours of low simmered in the clay pot. And this is how it looks like. Low, two hours of simmering and then the last hour I just turned off the heat. So let's try it out now. Okay, got my lay. And there you have it, how to make herbal mutton stew with her 80 years of perfecting this recipe. So let's try it out. Okay, sick, 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 sick. Okay. Let's just try the soup now. So now, very good. Good? We've had this every year, only a few times a year, and every time we have it, it's a blast. Mmm. My job. No, I don't want to say. <laughs> she already ate it. Eat so many, man, yeah, man. So many, can no eat. 